back here in Tulsa at the Wanamaker Arms Show. I'm here with Jim Sapika, director of the National Firearms Museum, and Charlie from Parsons, Kansas is here with a Ruger Blackhawk. Tell us about it. Uh, well, I really don't know too much about it. I bought it used some time ago. Uh, it has uh, it's 45 Colt with a 45 ACP cylinder. I uh, haven't fired it too much. Shot it well, a little bit? A little bit. How's it, has it been for you? Good guy? Uh, it's been fine, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me yeah. tell you, you came to the right guy if you don't know much about it. Because so. <laughs> I know just a little about it, so I'm just, I'm just right above that. Basically, that's about all I know. Well, it's got the classic lines of the Colt Single Action Army, and that's kind of a market that this uh, uh, young uh, gun designer, Bill Ruger, jumped into. He, uh, he introduced uh, this gun about 1953, uh, the Ruger Blackhawk revolver looked a lot like the Colt single action. He modernized the design a little bit. He, uh, he put a, a, some a new mechanism in, he put the adjustable sights on them, and uh, began serving a market that uh, Colt had uh, backed out of after World War II. They weren't making them anymore. But some other firms stepped in and started making these classic designs. A lot of uh, the firms were uh, High Hunter, Great Western, some of those were making copies of the single action army. But Bill Ruger uh, was uh, uh, one of our great inventive geniuses, one of our great firearms entrepreneurs in America. And uh, he had a, a gift for coming in and looking at classic lines, classic designs, and improving them, updating them, making them more reliable, and producing very good quality guns that were still affordable. I mean, that's always been a, a Ruger hall hallmark. They yeah. work. They're affordable. They're just a good, durable gun that shoots good and lasts. And they've uh, uh, there are Ruger fans all over the country. Matter of fact, the Ruger collectors have displays <laughs> on the floor behind <laughs> us here. And uh, this gun uh, was started out as a very practical gun. Has become highly collectible. There are a lot of variations on this gun. And uh, whenever there are a lot of variations in a popular gun, collectors love that. They just go after all the different variations. Um, this is what's called the new model Blackhawk. And uh, it differs from the old model. They put a, a new safety design in on the hammer. The, uh, the old model had three visible pins or screw heads right here. This, old, uh, this new model has two. And the, uh, the old model made the classic uh, four clicks when you cock the hammer. With the Colt, you said it spelled Colt, C-O-L-T, click, 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 click. But with the, uh, and we're going to confirm that it, the gun's unloaded, of course, here before we do anything else with it. But with the, uh, with the new model Blackhawk, those, uh, those four clicks are gone. You just have the, the smooth cock and the click there. And uh, uh, this gun is in very nice condition. There are a lot of variations that will make difference uh, to collectors. There are changes in the marking. At one point, uh, they were printing a warning read instruction manual, then they're pre-warning guns. And in 18, or, I'm sorry, in 1976, uh, without any fanfare, on every gun that Ruger made in 1976, they printed uh, made in the 200th year of American liberty on the oh, barrel. Oh and those Liberty Rugers oh, bring a premium it. now. Oh, uh, but they, they, they weren't marketing it, they weren't pushing it. It's just something they did for the bicentennial. Which made it, I'm sure, even more desirable. Yeah, it really did, yeah. it really did. Uh, but uh, this is a very nice one. It is, uh, it's got the things you want to keep with a gun when, you're, when you get a good gun. You got the gun itself, of course, in nice condition, but you've got the box, that means something the to the box. collectors. We get back to the yeah, box. Yeah, the box means a lot. He's yeah. kept the original oh, owner's Look manual in here, which is nice. That's cool. And uh, uh, we've now, got the that? spare, that's a spare cylinder for oh, uh, the gun. Oh, wow, okay. And what was really cool about these is uh, they marketed these, some of them, as interchangeable caliber guns. So uh, you've probably got your 45 Colt cylinder in there, right? Right. But this is a spare cylinder chambered for 45 <laughs> ACP. So in this same gun, you could swap out your cylinder and uh, just uh, <laughs> whatever neat. ammunition you had on hand, whatever ammunition you wanted to use, just swap it out and go with two different calibers. Yeah. Two guns for one. I'm sure you have the, the bag and the, the bag box. The bag and the box, and everything. Yeah. Every, a collector wants yeah. to see all those. That's neat. This gun is in excellent condition. It has been fired. It has been yeah. used a little bit. You see a little bit of wear around the edges. Um, you see a little muzzle wear here. In actuality, there is far more than 98% of the original finish remaining on this gun. 
But collectors are funny people, and they look at percentages different than we do. They would probably call this about 98, 99% gun because of that little bit of muzzle wear. Um, value of this gun, uh, just alone as a gun, probably in the uh, 350 to 425 range, and I think having the spare cylinder in the box and everything, probably add another 75 bucks on it. So it's a, it's a, first of all, it's a great shooter. It's a great gun. It is. Uh, it's a fun gun. Uh, the, the Ruger Blackhawk and Super Blackhawk played a big part in uh, uh, introducing handgun hunting as a as a legitimate sport because they were producing these reliable revolvers in powerful <laughs> calibers with the adjustable sight so it could really sight in on your target and adjust it to the different ammunition you were using so uh, it's it's a uh, it's a practical gun it's a fun gun and it's a collectible gun well thank, thank you for bringing it by thanks for sharing thank it with you. us here on Carrier's Corner thank you sir thank you